The Flame will be bringing you this week's updates on the Artal community, the university, and the nation. This is F Cubed, The Flame Facts and Figures. 43,000 Around 43,000 examinees took the USD entrance test or the OSTET for the academic year 2023 to 2024. The USD Office of Admissions or OFAD confirmed. OFAD Director Associate Professor Emel Dadakis said that the number was way higher than what the university expected. This year's OSTET was held in person for the first time since the pandemic and as part of its health protocols, the university implemented a no-mask, no-test policy for the examinees. 1.1 million The Commission on Elections drew over 1.1 million new voters this year amid the ongoing registration for the 2023 Barangay and Sangguniang Kabataan elections. Out of the recorded applicants, around 7,000 voters registered through Comelex Register Anywhere project, which was launched last month. To accommodate the high number of voter applicants, casual employees were authorized by Comelec to operate the voter registration machines. Aspiring voters can register until January 31, while the Register Anywhere project ended on January 25. Last year, Comelec recorded more than 67 million registered voters before the 2022 elections. 146 million with 146 million SIM cards still unregistered, Senate Public Services Committee Chairperson and SIM Registration Act author Senator Grace Poe urged telcos to speed up registration processes. Subscribers have until April to register. The registration period may only be extended for 120 days. SIM cards will be activated if not registered within the given period. Poe also asked telcos to ensure better registration assistance for mobile phone users in geographically remote areas, senior citizens, persons with disabilities, pregnant, minors, and those without regular access to the internet and mobile data. 200 The price of red onions dropped to 200 pesos per kilogram in some Metro Manila markets following the arrival of onion imports, according to the Agriculture Department. Bureau of Plant Industry Director Glenn Paniban said around 400 metric tons of yellow onions and 800 metric tons of red onions arrived in the country last January 20. Agriculture Secretary Rex Estuperes assured the public that the red onion imports would be distributed to local markets nationwide. Earlier this month, the government approved the importation of 21,060 metric tons of red and yellow onions to augment the supply and lower the prices of the commodity in the market. These are the facts and figures you need to know this week. I am Anne Zabandal and this has been FQ.